I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll actually try to find from where the defect came using probability. So let's take case of manufacturing. So let's say uh, we have two machines which are manufacturing some items. Let's call these machines as, uh, as uh, let's say machine A and machine B, right? So we have two different machines. Let's say machine A and machine B which are manufacturing some items, right? So let the items uh, be represented by I. So machine A, both are manufacturing or producing items. So any item it could be, uh, let's say item is I for us, right? So item I is being produced by these two machines. And let us say that uh, they're working 40% of the time machine A is working and 60% of the time machine B is working or you can say that the production level is such that machine A produces 40% of the items and machine B produces 60% of the items. So that is the production level. Okay. Now whenever you manufacture anything there could be defects, right? So let us say the percent of defects here is, uh, let's say 2%, and percent of defects here is 1%. Okay, that's kind of surprising. Machine which is being used less is producing more defects. Machine which is producing more is producing lesser defects, right? We have taken a scenario in which the most efficient machine is being used most, right? may make sense also. Now the idea here is to find probability of an item which is defective and we need to go back and find from where it came. So we want to find the source, source of defect. So that is the kind of question which we are looking into, correct? So we know that we check a sample and that sample is found defective, we want to find the probability of its source, whether it came from machine A or it came from machine B. So that is the probability which we need to find. So that's the question for us to examine in this particular video, right? So I hope the concept is clear to you, right? So now uh, let's begin working with some numbers to find the source. So let us say we want to find probability that the defect came from machine A to begin with. So let's say we will represent like this, that probability that the defect, we know there is a defect, right? So we know there is a defect, we'll say defect is D. And this defect came from machine A, that's the probability which we need to find, okay? So that's what we need to find. How can you find it? Well, one way is, let's find the probability of defect first. So we'll put that in the denominator, right? So that is the total defect. Now, what is the individual contributions towards defects? So we say probability of defect will be combination of these two. So 40% times 2%. So this is like 0 0.4 times 0 0.02, right? And here it will be 0 0.60 times 0 0.01. So that is the total defect probability when you add this up. So this comes in the denominator, which is 0 0.4 plus 0 0.02 plus 0 0.60 plus 0 0.01, correct? That is the total defect which we know has happened, right? Since the sample collected is defective, right? So the question here is, we have a defective sample. We have a defective sample. Now, what is the probability that its source is is machine A, right? Let's say machine A. What is the probability that the source of this defective piece is machine A? So that is the question for us, which we are trying to answer, okay? So what we are saying is that 
Probability of defect is all this combined from both the sources, right? Now, since we want to know that this defect probability from machine A, we'll write that probability in the numerator, which is 0 0.4 times 0 0.02. So that becomes our solution, right? So that is how you can find the source of the defective piece, rather probability of the source from a machine, right? Let's use calculator to calculate this value. We have 0.4 times 0 0.02, which is 1 over 25, okay, in decimals, let's write it down, okay, 0 0.008 it is, right? So three decimals, right? So 0 0.008 divided by all this. So um, what did I write? It should be product, right? That should be product. We are sum of product. So this is, you know, 0 0.008 plus when you multiply this, one, two, three decimal places, we have 0 0.006, correct? So that is what it is. So let's divide this number 0 0.008 by sum of 0 0.008 plus 0 0.006 to get the probability and that is 4 over 7 right so that becomes 4 over 7 so the probability in this case is 4 over 7 for machine A to produce the defective piece right given that a defective piece is selected it has come from machine A the probability is 4 over 7 you get an idea right so that is how you could find the probability of the source given the defect is there. I'm Anil Kumar. I, I hope you understand the method and the system which we use to get to the result. You can always share and subscribe my videos to have a good look at any topic on mathematics. Thank you and all the best.